these are CD3 machines. Uh, they stand for clean, drain, dry, and dispose, three Ds. Uh, but there's a, the way they work is it's a solar power unit. There's no water in it. It's not a decontamination machine. It's just tools that people should be able to use to help them prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species. Um, the things that I like about them is that they have the air hose that I don't really expect fishermen to carry an air hose with them to blow things out. And they also has a shop vac, which I don't really expect people to carry shop vacs around and try to bring in their generator. Uh, the thing that they also offer is a brush, uh, the um, plug wrench, and then a picker that those three tools are very easy for someone to get a hold of and carry with their boat, put them in their boat. So this is an example of what they should be carrying, especially if they can't get underneath their boat or they have problems with other things, that people need to be able to know what they need and bring it with them because they need to be responsible and about the transportation of invasive species. So, but I am glad that it has the air hose and the shop back. A lot of people are using them. Uh, we reviewed some of the numbers the other day. We got 173 uses on the on this machine on the uh, shop vac. So people are using it. Uh, it's very good. Uh, you can go to the website and look up on directions on how to use it too. So they have videos of things and suggestions on how to use everything. Uh, but what I usually tell is to people to use the shop vac to suck up any excess water in their live wells and stuff or if they want to get rid of their minnows they can suck it up through there and put it into the tank and it doesn't smell because it's all sealed so um and then also the air hose you can use this air hose to blow out any water lines so you're not transporting water from one water body to the other so this is a good thing to do that with uh, the other thing it has is lights so if you come in at night you just hit the button, you got lights down below to be able to look underneath your boat. And you also have some up top to go down. That way you got your boat all lit up so you have a better chance of catching stuff in the middle of the night. So, and then if you don't want to just, they will turn off after, I think it's three minutes. But uh, if you want to shut it off, you just hit the off button and that will shut off everything. So shut off the, air hose and the lights so nice little unit um they were it's part of the stop starry campaign put on by the minnesota lakes and rivers association uh they gave them to us in a grant so that we will have them at starry stonework locations